Okay, moving on to another example of using separating with variables. And we're going to do dy by dx is equal to root y cos 3x this time. Similar approach, move all the x's over to the right hand side and all the y's over to the left hand side. So I divide through by root y, we get 1 over root y. dy is equal to cos 3x dx. And we're going to integrate both sides. Okay. Now the left hand side is currently in a format that I don't particularly like working with. Now um, 1 over root y is 1 over y to the half, so that's y to the minus a half, integrated. Okay, now I'm happy to integrate. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, that goes up to y to the half. Divide by half is multiplying by 2, so I get 2y to the half, is equal to, the integral of cosine is sine, so this is 1 third sine, 3x plus a constant c. Right, I'm going to divide all the way through by 2 here. So I get y to the half is equal to 1 sixth sine 3x. And then I get, um, I'm going to divide c by 3, but I could just choose another letter. Let's choose a. Okay, so c divided by 3 is just going to be a, capital A here. And then to get y equals, I would have to square both sides. So, 1 sixth sine 3x plus a constant a squared. Okay, and that is going to be my general solution for this original differential equation. And that's how we deal with it. Um, now, the questions that you meet in an exam paper may be tougher than this. They may incorporate uh, integration by parts or integration by substitution. Um, a whole manner of different possibilities here. It might even be um, uh, rational functions thrown into the mix. So it's just making sure that you understand this process and then being able to get to the integrals that they want you to do. Okay, and they that may well be where you know you find it the toughest. So Practice your integration techniques um, and this method so that you're prepared for anything.